kebabs, beef kebabs and uh, roasted veg. This is a quick off the cuff one. This is the sort of food I cook for myself and my brother all the time. I've got some, this is 450 grams, near enough pound of 12% uh, fat Welsh beef mince or ground beef as some as you may call it. The bulk of my veggie bake is going to be cabbage and this is a savoy cabbage or it's about one th uh, third of a savoy cabbage i've got a nice leek which i've washed and trimmed i've got uh, a nice courgette or zucchini which i've uh, washed i've got one red pepper i've got a couple of carrots which have peeled onion garlic salt extra virgin olive oil some pepper some thyme thyme goes really nicely with um courgette so or zucchini so i'm going to put some thyme in it and i've got some of this spice bastard rub spice from my friend gb in canada so i'm going to be adding some of that to it all right um the garlic i'm going to use some of it in with the meat and i'm going to use uh, the rest of it i'm just going to throw into my my roasting tin over here i've got a couple of uh, potatoes these are i'm going to cut these up and just air fry them as um as spuds for my brother i don't eat spuds right so let's just get on with this and uh, let's get moving so i'm going to get some stuff out of the way first all right what i'll do first i think is get this mince into my mixing bowl. It's a nice lean mince and it's really good. So I'll just get that into my mixing bowl and then we'll add a few things to that to make it into some nice kebabs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop up this little bit of extra onion I've got. I'm just gonna chop that up kind of fine to go into my kebabs give them some sort of flavouring. So really fine, I'm just going to chop them into a really fine like that. That'll do, that can go in there. And that's just as a flavouring for my kebabs. Likewise, I'll need about a clove of garlic for that. So I'll quickly chop that up and I want to chop that up fairly fine because it's going into my kebabs. What you can do when you've got your garlic like that and seeing as I'm going to put it in with my kebabs I'm going to put a little bit of that salt on it and mash it up. And I get that mashed up. It doesn't have to be too fine, but as long as it's looking pretty good like that, that can go in my bowl. Don't waste time with this, it doesn't take long. And I think a bit of colour in there as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this up anyway. So I thought I'd just use the end of that, just like that. And chop that up real fine. And get that in there. Like I say, this is the sort of food that my brother and I eat all the time. And that's because I like to separate the carbs from the main meal. So I cook all my vegetables. And I don't like boiling vegetables because if you boil vegetables, the best fed member of your family will be that, the kitchen sink. So I like to roast them. It concentrates the flavour. And B, it's easier. It's a lot easier. You just cut them up, put them in a roasting tin, drizzle some oil on them and get them going. Right. Um, I'll do the taters now, get them out of the way. So what I do is I cut them across the thinnest axis, like that, into
into bits like that and then I cut them into wedges and I do that by halving them and halving them again halving them again half them half them again and so on like that now they just go straight into my air fryer and I'll give them 10 minutes in the air fryer and then I'll uh, spray some oil on them after they've been in for there for 10 minutes so this is live cooking recorded live so you're gonna have to put up with the noise the rest of my pepper I just cut up as normal that goes in there and what I do with the crowns is that I just cut them around like that peel those bits off they go straight into my baking tray and these get chopped into quarters and they go in the baking tray as well makes life easy doesn't it so this is all really quick it doesn't take long at all get them in a bit of extra onion can go in onion this really is that simple I like lots of onion I, I do love onion and it's particularly nice when the flavors of it are concentrated after roasting it it really is nice so I just cut those into pieces around about the same size as the bits of um, pepper and they go in oh forgot that bit that's got to go in there as well isn't it look at that miss that Tell it's a live show, can't you? That's not strictly true, but it's recorded live as I'm doing it. So this is an actual cook. Tomatoes, similar size. Everything's, sorry, carrots cooked to similar size. And these, that's a big fat one, I think what I'll do with that, I'll just smash these and put them in, straight in, because they'll peel once they're cooked. Smash them to help release a bit of that flavour. And leave them in the skin so they don't burn too easily, because they are full of sugar. Um, garlic does have a high sugar content. So I'm going to cut that lengthways along there, and because this takes a bit longer to roast, I'm going to cut it into a bit thicker pieces. Sorry, because it's a softer vegetable, it doesn't take that long, as opposed to the carrots and the peppers. So I cut it into bigger pieces, so that by the time the other stuff's cooked, that's just about doing right itself. So it's a real quick cook, this. It's I mean, I move twice as fast as this when I'm not recording it. So, here you are. And thanks for being patient, because I've was i uh, been nursing a bad, uh, bad shoulder injury that I had when I was a young man, falling around on the dirt bike. And I came off it and smashed up my ankle and my shoulder at the same time and I remember the army doctor who was a quite a remarkable lady she told me um, that um, I would have a lot of trouble with it in my later life and she is absolutely right I do so thanks for your patience and thanks for uh, staying by let's get this in there so you can see how we're building up the flavour. Leeks had a lovely, sweet, gentle, oniony sort of flavour. And now for the cabbage. Right, this is cut along 
that's where the stalk is. So I'm going to go down that, that way, and then cut it out. There you go. Too easy, isn't it? And then I cut it around, turning it like that, so I get those nice pieces like that. And you can see I do, I do this a lot. This is the way I cook, boys and girls. And likewise now with that, I can just get in, turn my knife around, take that bit out. You can chop these bits up, go down about as far as there if you've got the time. But that's, um, that's uh, for when I'm stewing it or cooking it longer, not for when I'm doing it like this. So I'm going to cut down there and down there. Notice I leave a bit to keep it all intact because it's easy to manage while I do that. Right, and then that goes in, and then we'll get that up and we'll show you what that looks like, and get it seasoned. So, while all this is happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my onion, <laughs> my oven, to 180 degrees. Sometimes I do it 200, but it depends on how much it, I've got in there. 180 degrees, um, which is 350 degrees Celsius. And then I want to give this a bit of a mix, just so we can bring out the colours and show it up for what it is. Just get all that mixed evenly. So it looks kind of nice. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chuck in some thyme because thyme is awesome and it's really this is dried thyme you can use fresh thyme uh, how much am I using I don't know that much uh, say two teaspoons of it and then that goes on top then some pepper plenty of pepper is that 10 minutes already there you go look oh, 10 minutes So what I do is I've got some spray oil, it's this stuff, some spray, it's not actually that, it's sunflower oil which I put back in the bottle, but if you don't tell I won't. So I've got these in my small air fryer and then what I do is I just give them a spray with that, give them a toss around, another spray, just make sure it's all nice and coated with oil. And now that's hot, I can put that back in for another five minutes and then just do it five minutes at a time to see how it's doing. And uh, what I'll do is I'll wait till my uh, brother gets in and then I'll just give it a last flash of five minutes to finish off his spuds. So there we are. Um, that's that. So on top of that, I've, I've put some salt, pepper, thyme so far. As much salt as you'd put with that amount of veg. That's that. And I'm going to put in, sprinkle in some of this uh, bastard rub because I love it and it's awesome. Use whatever you've got, you know, whatever seasonings you like, you just put them on there. Because that, that really does get it done, get the job done. Right, what I want to do now is get on a sprinkling of olive oil. Because the olive oil, any kind of oil, works really, really well with cabbage. So I'm kind of generous with the olive oil, because I'm on a low carb diet. So I put in some olive oil and then I set that aside and that's ready to go in the oven almost because what I'm going to do this today boys and girls to save time to save uh, heat and different methods of cooking I'm going to cook my beef kuftas on top of that so let's get these in here and let's have a look at that what do we want with that well we're going to want some salt which the idiot put away so in, in, in there with some salt and because it's a force meat always salt it a little bit more than you normally would. I 
I'm putting a bit of rope to carry the theme through. What's that? And uh, plenty of pepper because it's rude not to. And because it's a force meat, more pepper. And because I'm a nut case, he loves pepper. Right, next thing. This is a royal leg bar egg. And wait till you see the absolute gorgeousness of this. Look at this. It's hard to get in there because it's a tough shell, but look at that. Beautiful saffron yellow yolk in there. It's almost a travesty to put it in there and not serve it as an Eggs Benedict. Because that is super rich uh, local Royal Leg Bar eggs. And they come in that lovely pastel blue, gorgeous uh, pastel blue shell. And it's quite a tough shell. So that indicates that the chickens are pretty well fed. Right. I'm going to go in there with my hand and turn this into my kebab mix. If you want to make this go a lot further, you can put in some breadcrumbs. But that doesn't suit my purposes at the moment. So I get that mixed in. You don't need to go too mad, just get it. Make sure that every bit's got a bit of onion, every bit's got a bit of garlic, and the red pepper, that also looks nice. And it makes you tasty little kuftas. Right, let's push down on that. You can also do this with the minced lamb, it's really good with the ground lamb, or any other good ground meat you've got. I know my friend Emma's got plenty of um, venison. And uh, no doubt she'll be mixing her, making hers with venison and what other other meat she's managed to uh, acquire on the homestead. Right, uh, let me get my chopstick and we can form these into kebabs. So the, the way I do this is I use a chopstick and I grab a handful of it. wrap it around the chopstick, form it into a kebab, consar, that way, and then just drop that on top of my roast veggie mix, my veggie mix. So what you can do while you're doing this is you can get them all roughly to the same size because if you've got too much, you just squeeze it off at the end, drop it back into the bowl. So we end up with all these lovely, but it's round about a handful for each look. That's the way I do it, because it makes it easier. And if you've got any little leftover bits at the end, don't worry, just turn them into little meatballs and throw them in. There we go. And then as that cooks, all them delicious fats and juices from the... Uh, Kebabs are going to drop in through the veggies and turn this into something really quite spectacular. So let's switch this around so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. I'm going to do it that way. It's for you, my dear viewers, you deserve it because this is not about me, this is all about you. This is what you want. Get yourself some nice dinners. Easy stuff. Lazy cook stuff. Don't have to worry too much about it. It's quick, it's easy and it's tasty and that's what we like. That's what I'm all about. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you like what you see. And tell your friends. And if you don't like what you see, tell me, and we'll see what we can do about it. Right, that goes on there. 
I've also got a subscribe star which is down in the uh, description if you want to support me that way because I'm running out of income sources right at this moment and I'm sure many of you are the same but uh, that's what we need to do we need to do what we can and move onwards and upwards that's pretty much it so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there I got ten out of that so that's a pound or 450 grams of mince and that a little bit of onion and garlic and pepper I put in there has made it up to oh there's little bits they can just drop on top of the veg there we go no messing about that now goes into the oven I don't know it's normally about 15 20 minutes but just keep your eye on it and you'll find that some of the meat starts to blister and burn but that gives it lovely lovely texture and flavor so uh, that's now ready to go into my onion into my oven all right I kept saying live earlier which is incorrect what I really meant to say was it's um, recorded actually as it was happening and as I was cooking for normal rather than my usual format is where I lay things out and do it a little more scripted so let's have a look at it at round about the 15 minute uh, point and we'll see what it looks like well that certainly steamed up my glasses getting it out let's get some light on it So you can see at this at the sort of 15 minute point the vegetables are still a bit what I would say Cantonese you know still kind of crispy and I want this cooked a little bit more so I'm going to just put that straight back in if I didn't have the uh, meat on top I'd probably have given it a toss but it won't really matter I'll just put that straight back in as it is for another 10 minutes and we'll get that nice and uh, nice and cooked up another 10 minutes in let's have a look at it oh yes so that's looking a bit more relaxed as far as the vegetables are concerned and the kebabs are pretty much done I'm going to put that in for another 5 minutes and then it will probably be ready to serve other dressings you can put on uh, the vegetables are, you know, soy sauces and, and um, any other sauce that you have around that you like to use. But uh, I've used soy sauce, fish sauce, a number of different sauces when I've put these together in the past. And um, the different meats, I'll put, sometimes I'll put pork steaks on top. Sometimes I'll put sausages on top or chicken wings or something like that. Uh, but um, you can whatever you put on top is entirely up to your imagination really and you can make a dish out of just about any any vegetables that you like to use so I'll put that in for another five minutes and then we'll get to serving it up this is it all finished lovely so what I'll do now is I'll serve this up all right during its last five minutes of baking if you want to you can also always add some grated cheese uh, but I didn't really fancy it this time so I haven't done that what I'm gonna do now is make up a little bit of a, a dipping sauce for those kebabs and I'm, I'm just going to make it quite simply out of some hot pepper sauce and some ketchup. So, just a little bit of each. So, a couple of tablespoons of hot pepper sauce and a teaspoonful, sorry, a couple of teaspoons of uh, hot pepper sauce and a couple of tablespoons of ketchup. Give it a good old stir. And 
that should make a very nice dipping sauce for those kebabs. I'm just going to give that a little try. It needs a wee bit more heat. So I made it with, say, three teaspoons of um, my homemade hot pepper sauce. There's a recipe for that which should show up um, up here. Or if you're watching on Odyssey or uh, Library, you'll be able to go and search for it in my videos. There we go. Excellent. Right, so all that remains now is to get that served up. Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.